Howdy, y'all. I was going to make some pizza tonight, but, uh, there's a dog whining. No, that's not the butt. But, I, um, don't have any pizza sauce. What to do, what to do. suppose I could try making my own. Well, might as well give it a shot, huh? Keep in mind, I have no idea what I'm doing. Our motto is, we screw up so you don't have to. I should probably start with tomato sauce, but I got a case of crushed tomatoes that were on sale that I got to get rid of. So, this isn't one of the case. The, the uh, case was actually Muir Glen. Uh, I believe it was one of the fancy brands anyway, whatever it was. So, I think crushed tomatoes will actually give it a little more texture. What do you think? We're going to make it a little more tomatoey with tomato paste. I, I like tomato paste. I use it in a lot of stuff just to give it a good things. A, can you actually even see the bowl? Sure you can. Um extra dimensions, a depth of flavor, so we're gonna pop in a little tomato paste. It's amazing what a little tomato paste will do. Um, I also use anchovy paste in a lot of stuff, um, just because. Uh, for the same reason, uh, well, actually the anchovy paste, which I may add to this, come to think of it, it provide, it's a salty, and you can use a fresh anchovies, um, chop it up, grind it up, and put it in. It, it, it provides a salty taste, and it makes it meatier than it actually is. It does funny things to your tongue. We got some oregano. La, 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 la. That should be enough, maybe. And Italian. I need plenty of Italian. La, 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 la. Was, wasn't pizza sauce Italian? Sure it is. Some ground black pepper, just a little. Some sea salt. Just not a whole lot, just probably should use regular, but I like my course. We got some garlic, granulated garlic. Can't be too garlicky. I have to add more garlic. Um, I don't have any onion powder. I don't want to use my chopped onion, but that's all I got. And just to give it a little bit of a little bit of a kick, just a little bit of red onion. La -da 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 -da. Uh, 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 didn't that look like yummy? This is better than the tomato sauce for sure. Go away, bugs. They're bugging me. Hmm. Okay, still tastes tomatoey. Not that there's anything wrong with tomato. We want, we want flavor, so add more garlic. More onion. More Italian. Da, 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 da. No, I got some Greek seasoning. That'd probably be good too. I like the Greek seasoning. It's smelling a little more like 
pizza sauce. Not to be confused with pasta sauce. I really like the crushed tomato consistency. A little sweet still. Hold on, go away, bugs. Hold on. Ta da! Greek seasoning. Let's see what this will do. Just a little. Let's see what's in here. Salt, pepper, cornstarch, garlic, garlic. Basically, a lot of the same stuff I already added. <laughs> May not have added enough. Let's see. Okay. This is a pretty darn good pizza sauce, I think. So, that's it. Homemade pizza sauce with just a few ingredients plus a lot but we've got the this is the main ingredient crushed tomatoes really like the consistency that's going to be good on a pizza crust a little bit of tomato paste and a little bit of all these seasonings and i could have done different but i don't know what i'm doing anyway so that's it pizza sauce and in a future episode we'll have pizza with homemade pizza sauce so thanks for watching y'all come back again uh thanks for watching subscribing sharing uh helpful hints and uh most importantly thank you for feeding my fragile ego and we'll see you next time. Bye!